Today is Monday, February 22nd, 2016, and this week we are um, working on PSL number 7. So today's the first day of PSL number 7. So number 1, what is the surface area of the cone to the nearest tenth? And you're going to use the pi button to get your answer. So the first thing that we need is our formula for the surface area of a cone. And the formula for that is pi r squared, which is going to find the area of our base, plus pi times radius times the slant height. That cursive L represents slant height. So over on our diagram, they've given us our radius of 9. So I can plug that in here, and then that's going to end up being squared. But then I can also plug it in down here. And then my slant height they've given us is right here, which is 13. So this one's times 13. And then I can just bring everything else down. So now I'm going to do some simplification. I know that 9 times 9 is 81. And over here, 9 times 13, that's going to simplify down to 117. And I'm going to bring everything else down. So we get 81 plus 117 pi, which gives me a grand total in terms of pi of 198 pi. So now I want to take that and I want to put it into my calculator so that I can find what that is to the closest tenth. So I'm going to use the pi button on my calculator and the answer I'm going to get is 622.03534 and it keeps going on after that. But now we want to just look at this number to decide what this one's fate is. Because it is um, less than 5, we're going to keep 0 as 0. So our final answer is just 622.0. And we are working with feet. And because we're doing surface area, it is just squared. Number two says write the equation with the given points 0 comma negative 4 and 4 comma positive 2. So we're going to write the equation of the line that passes through these two points. The first thing that we need to recall is our slope intercept form. And slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So in order to find the equation, we're going to need to find two pieces of info, one being the slope, and then the other being the y-intercept, which is what we represent with the letter b. So to find our slope, we're going to use an old formula that you've definitely used before. And that is our slope formula given two points, which is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So we need to come up to our two coordinates, and we need to name these. So I'm going to name them accordingly. So you can see I've named 0 comma negative 4 x y 1 and 4 comma 2 x y 2. So now we just start to plug these in. So our x or our y 2 was a value of 2 minus y 1 which is negative 4 and that is all over x 2 which had a value of 4 minus x 1 which was a value of 0. And then we begin to simplify. So 2 minus a negative becomes 2 plus positive, so it becomes 6. 4 minus 0 is 4. Both of these are divisible by 2, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 4, so that is our m. m is equal to 3 halves. Now, to find our b. So to find our b, we want to know what does y equal when x is 0. So looking at our coordinates, we can see that in this coordinate, 0, comma, negative 4, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 4, so our b is negative 4. So our final formula is y equals 3 halves x minus 4 once we substitute everything in. Okay, our last problem for today, we are going to find the equation for the table. So these are coordinates that are all going to fall on a graph, and we need to find the equation of the line um, for these coordinates. So we're going to use the same um, form that we used before. We're going to use slope-intercept form. So y equals mx plus b. And we're going to 
use or find slope the same way that we found it in the last equation or in the last problem. So to find our slope, we want to take two points and do y2 minus y1 and put that all over x2 minus x1. So it doesn't matter what two coordinates you pick to use for this problem, but I've picked the two that have xs2 and xs10 only because this one happened to have a 50 cents and I didn't really like how it has a 0.5 so just to keep whole numbers so now we just begin substituting so y2 was 15 a value of 15 minus y1 which had a value of 3 all over our x2 which was 10 and our x1 which was 2 so now I just subtract 15 minus 3 gives me 12 and 10 minus 2 gives me 8 both of these are divisible by 4, so I can divide 12 by 4 and get 3, and 8 by 4, and I get 2. So my slope for this one, kind of ironic, but again, this one is 3 halves. Next, we need to find our b, which is going to be our value when x is 0. So when x is 0, what does y equal? But if you notice over here on our x values, we don't have a value for when x is 0. But I want you to think about this situation. So the situation says that x is the number of copies that we're making, and then y is how much it's going to cost for those copies. So if we made two copies, it's going to cost us $3. If we made five copies, it would cost us $7.50. What you'll notice is that if you're going to make copies, if you're only making zero copies, if you're not making any copies at all, how much is it going to cost you? So if you're not getting any copies, you just walk back out the door, your price isn't going to be anything, so your y is also going to be zero. So t this technically is going to have a an intercept of zero because when x is zero, y is going to equal zero. So your formula is going to be y equals three halves x plus zero. But when you write it, if you want, you can just um, leave off the plus zero and write it as y equals three halves times x, and then leave that last part off and that's just your answer. So that it this one would be correct. I also this one would be correct too, but you do not have to write that zero at the end. But it wouldn't be like it's it, it wouldn't be counted wrong. So make sure that you have this all filled out for today and get it somewhere safe so that you can keep it keep up with it all week because you definitely will be receiving credit and not turning it in though until Friday.